You may have heard about the recent war in Nagorno-Karabakh. To help you understand just what exactly is going on, here's everything you need to know about the war in less than three minutes. Armenia and Azerbaijan are fighting over a mountain-filled area called Nagorno-Karabakh. They say that this is a war against terrorism. Well, this original conflict is very dangerous for the entire South Caucasus and could have dramatic consequences even for Europe. Nagorno-Karabakh an Armenian enclave within Azerbaijan is a mountainous territory located in the South Caucasus. The heart of the conflict revolves around the indigenous Armenian population's request for independence from Azerbaijan. With nearly 400 Armenian churches and monasteries spread across the territory dated from as early as the 7th century, Nagorno-Karabakh has been inhabited by Armenians for centuries. However, in 1921, as part of his divide and rule strategy, Joseph Stalin separated Nagorno-Karabakh from Armenia and handed it to Soviet Azerbaijan with a promise to form an autonomous region on its territory. The situation endured until the 1980s when protests erupted in both Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh. Soon after, in 1991, a referendum was conducted where 98% of the population of Nagorno-Karabakh voted for independence. A bloody war ensued. A ceasefire was brokered in 1994. The war resulted in the indigenous Armenians taking control of Nagorno-Karabakh and several surrounding territories that acted as a buffer zone between Karabakh and Azerbaijan. This uneasy status quo has remained the same for the past 26 years, with occasional flare-ups erupting in between. But on Sunday, September 27th, Azerbaijan, with the support and go-ahead of Turkey, launched a planned attack to take back the Armenian-controlled territory. This has put Armenia in a very dangerous position, as its small army now has to face off against not only Azerbaijan, but its staunch ally, Turkey, which has provided Azerbaijan with heavy military support, including Islamist Syrian mercenaries and former ISIS members, advanced drones, and even Turkish military command. This conflict runs the risk of spiraling out of control and sucking in other regional actors like the United States, European Union, Russia, and Iran. And while Armenia and the international community have called for a ceasefire, Turkey and Azerbaijan have vowed to push further. So calling this war a situation or a clash and claiming that both sides are guilty falsely makes it seem small. It makes the global community numb. But now is not the time to be numb. We need to stand up for freedom. We need to stand up for peace. And we need to make sure that any human rights violations do not go unpunished.